There are three ways to make a living in this business. Be first, be smarter, or cheat. A Chinese researcher claims to have helped make the world's first gene-edited babies, twin girls whose DNA he says he altered, with a powerful new tool that lets scientists edit the genetic code. I feel a strong responsibility uh, that it's not just to make it first, but also make it uh, as example. Scientist He Jinghui says he edited the baby's genes to try to give them a trait few people naturally have to help them resist HIV infection. His work has not yet been independently confirmed or reviewed by other scientists. But if proven, it crosses a new frontier in medicine and ethics. If it's not safe or have any problem, it may rule the entire field and the people may lose the trust in the new technology. He says he edited embryos for seven couples during IVF fertility treatment. So far, there's been one pregnancy. The gene editing was done using a tool called CRISPR-Cas9. It works by making a cut in the DNA to disable a specific gene. Dr. Kira Musunuru, an expert with no role in the experiment, considers it unethical. We still have a lot of work to do to prove and establish that the procedure is actually safe. I would say that no babies should be born um, at this point in time, following the use of this technology. It's simply too early, too premature. He and many mainstream scientists say this type of gene editing should not be attempted yet, because it could make permanent changes to DNA that could affect future generations, or cause harm if other genes are affected. Some worry it will be used to design babies with desired traits. We have to balance the potential benefits with the potential risks for the people involved. In cases where the potential risks are substantially higher than the benefits, which I think is the case here, that is not ethical. Gene editing has only recently been tried in adults to treat serious diseases, and those changes are just in that person. It's not allowed to be used in the U.S. and many other countries on embryos intended for pregnancy. But Huz says it's only a matter of time. The world has moved on to the stage for embryo gene editing. There will be someone somewhere who is doing this. If it's not me, it's someone else. He says he supports the development of international guidelines on how to use this gene editing technology, saying in the end, society will decide how to move forward. Kathy Young, Associated Press. All right, the clip we just heard came from AP and talking about the Chinese scientists that has announced that they have the first pregnancy from the first gene edited baby. And I'm sure they just announcing it as probably or have already done it. I told you that the Chinese will probably do it first. Told you that this is a race. And when I put up the article about the gene editing and that this is a thing and this is going to be a thing going forward, you guys said that this probably wouldn't happen. It wouldn't happen now. Okay. And the countries that I told you that probably would do it and had no problems doing it were Germany and China. And this dude has already done it with seven couples, seven couples that they're talking about. I told you the uh, uh, genetic science or genetic technology, biotechnology was the part of the technological arms race that nobody talks about because that is a moral dilemma. That is a Pandora's box that, that uh, scientists, even though they're doing it, don't want to talk about it. When it comes to food, when it comes to editing genes for, um, for human beings or producing organs, that kind of stuff, they don't want to talk about it, even though they're already producing organs. They've been doing that for years. They've probably been editing genes for for people for years, because if it can be done, human beings will do it. And now that this information and this technology is all spread out all over the planet, there's going to be people somewhere that will take a chance and do it. 
And then I said the most likely country would be the Chinese. And lo and behold, a few days after I put the video up and that y'all disagreed, and I had some people that disagreed, guess what happened? They announced that it's been done because this is a race. Three things, three ways to make money, three ways to dominate. Be first, be smarter, and cheat. The Chinese do all three. And it won't just be this. There's going to be a whole lot more, folks. Kansas is getting ready to go bye-bye if it hasn't already. So while you're on your Twitter, on your iPads, on your smartphones, the world is starting to speed up. It's going to uh, speed right by you. There's an old uh, term I used to hear on Twit. The revolution will not be televised, but it will be streamed. They're streaming the revolution right in front of our faces. I've always said, on this channel, I don't need to prove what I'm saying. The headlines will prove it for me. Either I'm right or I'm wrong. This is just one more example. There's other stuff that I have said. This in the headlines left and right. You know, uh, the, look, if you look at the universal basic income, they're arguing it on Fox News. Now, two and a half years ago when I talked about it, Everybody said that it was a non-entity. It would never happen. Guess what? Surprise! The shit is going down. Pay attention, folks. Anyway, that's all I got for this one. This is going to be short and sweet. It's BGS out, and I will see you guys on the next one.